Hi, I'm Joy Lawrence. Welcome to my video introducing William Saroyan. Here, are, my sources for this presentation are listed here on this title slide. I have biographies from Britannica.com and History.com, information from the William Saroyan Foundation and the William Saroyan Society, the obituary from the New York Times, and this article also from when Sorian died called William Sorian Dies at 72 from the Washington Post. And then many of my pictures came from historical perspectives. Each slide will also have the source listed at the bottom of the page so you can see which source was used to get the information for that slide. All right, let's learn about William Sorian. William Sorian was a Fresno native. As an adult, he owned two houses that sat side by side and loved to ride his bike around even into his 60s and 70s. My husband, who grew up in Fresno, says he remembers Saroyan riding his bike around but didn't have a full appreciation for who he was. At that time, it was more of a, who is this old guy always riding his bike? And now, looking back, it's, oh, that was William Saroyan. So he wishes he had had an appreciation for him then. Saroyan was born in America. In fact, he was the only child in the family to be born in America. His family came from Armenia. His father died at the age of 36 from peritonitis, which is the inflammation of the intestinal walls, which is the same thing that Harry Houdini died from. When he was a kid, he discovered some writings that his father had done. His father wrote as a kind of a hobby, and he was convinced then that writing was in his blood. After the death of his father, the, their mother didn't have enough money to support the family, and so all of the children went to live in an orphanage. And this was very troubling for Saroyan. When he was five, he ran away to try to go find his mother, but he was, of course, sent back to the orphanage. When he was eight, his mother had gotten a job at a cannery, and the family was reunited then. Saroyan went to Emerson High School in Fresno. This is a picture of what that high school looked like at the time. It has since been torn down. He hated school. He found it boring and predictable, and he also faced a lot of criticism because he was the son of an immigrant. Looking back on the experience, he said that he had left school before it did him, quote, any permanent damage. He worked as an office manager at the San Francisco Telegraph Company, and you'll notice that the main character in the human comedy also works in a telegraph office. Soroyan often found inspiration in his own life for the stories that he wrote. In 1928, when he was living in San Francisco, he published a story in Overland Monthly and Out West Magazine. And the success of that made him decide that he could indeed make writing his career. Six years later, he published his first book called The Daring Young Man and the Flying Trapeze and Other Stories and became an overnight sensation. In 1939, Soroyan wrote a play called The Time of Your Life. It won a Pulitzer Prize for drama, which he turned down. He said that he resented, quote, wealth patronizing art. Soroyan believed that people were basically good, and he wrote stories with characters that portrayed this fundamental goodness. You'll see this with many characters in the human comedy, and you'll also want to pay attention to those characters who prefer to divide and isolate instead of unite. Uh, the human comedy also includes Soroyan's philosophy that every man in the world is better than someone else and not as good as someone else. In 1943, the human comedy was was bought to be made into a movie. He hadn't written the book, but he had this idea. Um, this was his most successful book, by the way, but it's also his least favorite because of the patriotic note he had introduced towards the end of the novel. Um, he was a pacifist who was almost court-martialed while he was in the army because of a book he wrote, or a story, sorry, that he wrote during that time that focused on the pacifist sentiment. But anyway, I digress. The Human Comedy was purchased by MGM for $60,000, and Soroyan also earned $1,500 a week as a producer and director. But he ended up being fired because he took too long, and he wanted a movie that was going to be over three hours. So during that time period, they knew they weren't going to be able to keep people in a theater or keep them interested for that long. So he was really mad about this and went home and furiously started writing, hoping that he would get the book published before the movie could get released. But they came out at about roughly the same time, and they were both successful, and they both added to the other's success. 
But he was so upset by this whole experience that he never again permitted any Hollywood screen adaptation of any of his novels, even though he faced financial troubles later in life. Soraya died of prostate cancer in 1981 at the age of 72. Um, during his lifetime, he published over 60 books. His writings have been translated into more than two dozen languages and have sold millions of copies. If you're familiar with Greek mythology, you may notice some connections between the human comedy and the Odyssey, and this is purposeful. Sorian did this on purpose. The Odyssey is a story about Odysseus, who spends years trying to find his way home after the Trojan War. Um, the, the name Ulysses which is also one of the characters in Sororian's book, um, is the Roman version of the name Odysseus. Homer, another character in the human comedy, is the name of the author who wrote the Odyssey. And Sororian's book takes place in Ithaca, another connection to the Odyssey, but it's based in Fresno. So you'll see lots of landmarks that he refers to that are clearly in the Central Valley. So pay attention to that because it's kind of fun to see somebody talking about where you live, which by the way, was one of the reasons that Soroyan wanted to have this story take place in Fresno. He believed that the Central Valley was beautiful and wanted others to see the beauty that, that was here. You're not gonna be asked to write about the comparison between the human comedy and the Odyssey, but it's something that makes the novel more interesting and it follows that theme of loneliness and finding your way home that we see in Soroyan's book. If you've invested yourself in this book, by the end, you should feel sad and lonely. I know those aren't emotions that we usually seek out, but it's still kind of cool that this book Soroyan wrote back in 1943 can still elicit emotions in today's audience. As you read through the human comedy, you'll want to look for these themes, loneliness, the ways the characters cure their loneliness, and also look for that theme of going home and what does home even mean? How do the characters divide and isolate? How do they come together? And finally, think about how all of this is reflected in our own society. How do we divide and isolate? And how can we connect this to the themes that we're discussing in the class? Well, that's it for my Soroyan presentation. I hope this has given you enough background to understand Soroyan and give you some context for his novel that we'll be reading. As a reminder, you will have quizzes based on Soroyan's book, but you won't do reading logs for his book. We will have discussions for all of the readings from his book, just like we will for Hinojosa's book as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.